Sun Banani Ninjani, it's Zinja Africa, and over here it's all things natural hair care, all things self care, and everything Africa. So, welcome to the channel. I hope you like the video, and I really hope you subscribe, join the family, okay? I'm posting every day now, like I'm not playing. So, please, in the comments, ask me what you need to ask me. What do you want to see from me? I'm here. So, let's get into the video. I have three things that I put in my hair and I will never put them in my hair again hopefully you haven't done this yet and this is uh, you know a fair warning to you to not do it um, I did uh, it was terrible <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you guys all about it so it was just three things at the very beginning of my hair care journey right so this is like 2015 2016 like I've made my fair share of mistakes the first thing that I put in my hair that I never put in my hair again was avocado so hear me out right there wasn't a lot of like knowledge and information on how to really take care of your hair but I heard about masks you know and I was like okay um, and there was an avocado tree at the time outside and I was like okay I've got avocados I put my avocados in a in a little bowl you know I smashed up the avocados put it in my hair ha worst thing ever worst thing ever you know I couldn't even concentrate on what the ever was doing in my hair firstly it was exciting because I mean my whole head was green I didn't put anything else in my hair I just heard that avocados are great for your hair and I put it on my hair the chunks that were in my hair of avocado little bits of avocado in my hair um, I think I had to like just wash it over and over again to make sure that it was out of my hair like guys lesson learned use a blender if you want to be miss diy like me use a blender zinke what are you doing you know blending things with a fork like anything that's gonna leave pieces of food in your hair yeah that was terrible the second thing that i put in my hair that i will never put in my hair again was fish oil i know <laughs> i know fish oil like <sighs> so i saw a brand right that i trusted at the time and i still do you know um, and I realized they have an um, omega-3 I'll try and find a picture of it and put it up but they had kind of like a fish oil an actual fish oil and um, or was it an omega-3 oil but it was it was kind of like fish in an oil right and obviously I'm on the net the researcher in me you know natural hair will make you a researcher I researched I said oh <laughs> omega-3 is good for the hair oh um, you know fish has different vitamins that are amazing for hair growth Wow okay and then I looked up hot oil treatment I said oh okay hot oil treatment I've, I've tried it here and there let me try it with this fish oil I got the fish oil okay <laughs> the whole thing I tried to get as much I've always been generous on my hair when it comes to like ingredients and stuff like I put a lot of fish oil in my hair <laughs> so I spray a little bit of water put the fish oil in my hair put a cap you know a plastic but they weren't even plastic caps were they well I didn't have a plastic cap I took a plastic bag put it over my hair you know then took a head scarf put it over normal hot oil treatment things I and I and I started realizing like mm, it smells like fish like my hair smells like fish like my hair was my hair was smelling like fish it was giving baby hay <laughs> it was giving salmon darling <laughs> It was giving um, it was giving seafood boil like my hair was smelling like fish but of course I thought about the nutrients I thought about the vitamins I was like I'm keeping it in my hair overnight and that's how it was guys 
it was smelling like fish my hair was smelling like fish kept it in the whole night washed it out I will never do that again why because it was unnecessary some things you have to discern you have to it's okay to like do your research but like some things are okay to ingest for your hair and some things are okay to apply what I learned from that is that it's actually okay to only have a balanced diet you know make sure you're getting your vitamins your nutrients you know and and that's it that's a great way to maintain your hair like to just have healthy hair that is an amazing way you don't have to you know take all of your food and put it in your hair a healthy diet is enough is really it is really enough bombastic side eye <laughs> Yeah, okay, so the third thing that I put in my hair that I will never put in my hair again. This one's a bit tricky. So as I was starting this whole natural hair journey thing, I wasn't sure which shampoos to use, which conditioners, and you know, I was probably like 19, 18 anyways, didn't have a lot of money, saw this cheap shampoo, um, I was like okay great and it was in like a liter for like 20 rand or something like it was so cheap let me tell you something this shampoo was the cheapest on the shelf like it was the cheapest on the shelf I was really chuffed with myself I'm like great I'm saving on shampoo I get home I do my wash day <sighs> Till this day, I've never used a shampoo worse than that one, right? And it was like a no-name brand of, you know, the, the store. So I can't even say like, oh, this brand did me dirty. Like, they made their own mixture and it was horrible. And I've never seen it since. Probably because people didn't like it. My hair felt like straw. It felt dry. And it was a miracle that my hair did not fall out. It was so strong. It was... You could feel the chemicals you can you could smell the chemicals you could my hair just lost life from washing it with that shampoo you know literally my my hair survived I don't know how but it survived that like it just dried my hair so much what I learned from that was looking at the back of your product and understanding the ingredients when I buy my hair products, I look at the ingredients, like I don't make a mistake, I look at the ingredients. And the very first ingredient on that shampoo was chlorine. Chlorine. Chlorine, what they put in the pool to keep it blue. Chlorine. The chlorine that I make sure that I rinse out of my hair every time I have a swim. Chlorine. Like, chlorine is so damaging to the skin to the hair and they're gonna put that as the first ingredient terrible absolutely terrible and the thing about products is that oh, the higher the ingredient on the ingredient list of that product is the more of that there is in the product <clears throat> so if water is at the very top of that um, ingredient list that means that the product is mostly consists mostly of water and then you know the the other products follow so for chlorine to be like right at the top you know um, if I'm not mistaken it was the very first one but if I can't remember properly it was definitely top three and I still see chlorine in products now but it's at towards the end of the product so I don't um, I don't really stress about it too much because at least if it's at the bottom then maybe you know chlorine does help in whatever it helps with maybe there's three drops of chlorine in the whole bottle I'm, I'm, I think I'm okay with that you know there's a reason why they use it and these products haven't really done me dirty um, but with that shampoo having so much chlorine it was the worst the worst so that taught me to understand the ingredients in the products that I use I don't need to know everything but I need to just know that the key ingredients that aren't good for my hair years later 
brands started you know making sure that they communicate with the consumer around you know um, no parabens no no sulfates <clears throat> whether or not the product is vegan these things are so important because there's a way that you know our hair and our skin react to these products we also need to know like the ingredients we have to stay away from and the ones that are actually helping us you know so those are the three products that I would never put in my hair again in the way that I did right I um, have nothing against avocados I have nothing against fish oil I'm sure you know there's a way to ingest it and I don't have anything against chlorine it just has to be in a smaller dose so these are the three things that I hope that you learned not to do <laughs> and um, if you're just starting your hair care journey or you've made a few mistakes you know what it really is okay we learn from these things and hopefully you learn from my mistakes as well so comment down below with any mistakes that you have made what is the worst thing you've ever put in your hair you know and you're like I'm never putting this in my hair again so we also want to learn I know I want to learn from you until the next video Bye, love and light and all blessings to you. Bye.